from the KATC Weather Lab, here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, five more days of summer heat and finally we're going to feel more like October. Still August like weather over the next several days. Slight rain chances, temperatures in the low to mid 90s, heat index near 100. But that all comes to a crashing end on Monday and that is the good news. So let's get into it. Show you the upper level patterns. We look at the water, water vapor imagery. Sometimes that's hard to get out quickly, uh, but we've been dominated by the strong ridge of high pressure that's dominating much of the Gulf of Mexico as well. Drier, stable air around the periphery of that ridge. Some very heavy rainfall from the Texas Southwest, uh, New Mexico, all the way up through the high plains. Uh, very interesting uh, flow here. And then as we get into the tropics, broad troughing of low pressure aloft and some weak low pressure at the surface, especially as we get into the northwestern Caribbean. And we'll show you that in just a bit. Here's the bigger picture across the Atlantic Basin and the National Hurricane Center watching two areas, one northeast of the Bahamas that's going to be moving off to the northeast. And then this area down here in the northwestern Caribbean, uh, they've upped the chance to about 20%. I think it's based on the latest uh, European model that maintains an area of low pressure by the Yucatan, southern Gulf of Mexico for the better part of about a 7 to 10 day period and it may last longer than that. This is going to be the hot spot we think if you watched our earlier casts as we head even into mid October. Then we have Lorenzo. Lorenzo is hauling. It's moving to the northeast at 40 miles an hour. It's a 100 mile an hour storm. So think about this. If it's moving to the northeast at 40, it's got 100 mile an hour winds in the eastern semicircle. So you may be able to produce gusts here 140 miles an hour. Not as much. You subtract that 40 miles an hour in the backside, maybe 60 mile an hour winds right now impacting the western portion of the Azores with those strong winds and very high seas. Last check, there were better than 60 foot seas, significant wave heights, some isolated waves as high as 90 feet, more than likely, maybe up to 100 feet uh, impacting the western portion of the Azores. Eventually, this storm heads for Ireland and still a respectable storm, but it won't be tropical. But nonetheless, uh, strong tropical storm force winds, maybe some hurricane gusts for Ireland and perhaps portions of the UK down the road. So here we go with the European model. That's that area of low pressure down by the Yucatan. Here comes a front Friday, but this runs out of gas, so uh, we're going to keep those hot temperatures through the weekend. But here comes the good looking front that gets here on Monday with scattered showers, maybe some thunder and then much cooler air coming in. Looks great for Tuesday, Wednesday or Thursday. Maybe some high clouds dancing along the coast, but overall a much better weather pattern starting a week from today and continuing at least through Friday. Low pressure still festering down in the southern Gulf and into the northwestern Caribbean. Temperatures by morning in the low to mid 70s, then tomorrow back into the lower 90s and then that heat index again near 100 degrees for tomorrow afternoon. So here's your 24 hour forecast. We get down into the low to mid 70s, maybe a little fog there and then into the 90s tomorrow. Best chance of rain if we see any is going to be between about probably about 5 and 730 tomorrow and then as we head into Thursday, Friday. Rain chances in the 20% range, but look at those temperatures still in the lower 90s. The transition day on Monday and highs in the upper 70s to lower 80s and lows getting down into the upper 50s to lower 60s for next week. And we may still bring those numbers down yet as we get closer to it. And finally, some good news from the weather lab. We like that. <laughs> yes. Thanks, Rob.